All right, so I have a set up Tableau desktop on my machine connected to a Snowflake uh, data warehouse in uh, AWS. Uh, I've started an AWS, um, a virtual warehouse uh, that is extra small on Snowflake um, that costs about $2 an hour. And I've loaded the COVID-19 mobility uh, data set from, uh, from Google um, into the Snowflake instance. And um, it's about 5 million rows. Um, some of the dimensions I'm going to look at, like place ID has about 13,000 um, unique values. Uh, others like the subregion uh, one or two have in the thousands of, um, of additional um, of uh, unique values. So I'm going to set up uh, uh, a worksheet here, uh, a view, and just to show what that experience looks like in Tableau. So let's start with the column with the time. I want to look at the weekly time here. And I want to look at the grocery and pharmacy information. Great, pretty instantaneous. So let's break that down by place ID. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't want to filter. I want to do all. All right, kind of not instantaneous. Let's break it down by subregion. All right. And uh, let's look at the day. Break down. All right, well, that's way too long already. So what we have here is um, Pivot connected to an Imply Cloud cluster um, that costs about uh, $2 per hour, similar to, uh, to the Snowflake uh, virtual warehouse that we were using for the Tableau demo. Um, in, in this case, uh, the $2 was taking into account both the AWS infrastructure cost as well as the imply uh, licensing costs at, uh, at list price. So um, we loaded the same data, about 5 million uh, events, and I want to start doing the same thing. So let's pick a layer line chart here. Note that I'm using uh, Pivot 2.0 here. This is the next generation Pivot that we're working on. It's still in alpha, so you might need notice some, some bugs here and there. So I'll look at the time. It's bucketed by week. Uh, let's look at not the number of events, grocery pharmacy changes, okay. Uh, and in terms of the multiples, we wanna look at a breakdown by place ID. All right, pretty quick. Let's do a breakdown by subregion one. All right, and let's put that under here. And so we can start seeing a breakdown here by the subregion. Pretty instantaneous relative to what we have to do with, um, with Tableau. Let's break this down by day. All right, pretty quick. And Drew, uh, Pivot loads these up on demand as we scroll. And so you see a minor delay here, but that allows instantaneous uh, lookups at the data as soon as you start changing things.